Tell me about Mr. Dobbins and his garden. How did you know about that? Um, that actually uh, came from <laughs> some of the research we, we had uh, when we, when we uh, of course, we went to the Sons and Daughters uh, of Douglas's website, and we were reading a bunch of that, and uh, one of my kids was like, hey, uh, I, so basically they all had to go in, and they had a certain part that they had to uh, to talk about, like what, who were influential people, who were this, and one of the girls that came in, uh, interestingly enough, and I can actually, I, I want to go show you a couple things there. Um, her uncle is one of the young men at the end of the mural, uh, and that is his granddaughter that's beside him because he graduated from Douglas and she's currently here at Dobbins Bennett. So that's the way we wanted to end the mural. But she says, hey, did you know uh, Mr. Dobbins had a garden? And I was like, for what and he was like to feed the students and I was like oh that's cool so uh, we, we we started kind of researching that part in we were like that's amazing that that's what he did and so we just started researching where he had it and everything else like that and that's how we came up with that that part with Mr. Dobbins so yeah and you actually went to his house yes sir, on yes, sir. Street. I, I was like I know I know he must have had it at the house so I was like best place to get a, a, a vantage point so I was like I'm just going to go over there. So I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very, uh, let's say my dad's called it the gift of gab. I, 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 the only people I don't talk to are ghosts. So, uh, I, if anybody was like wondering who I was, I'm like, Hey, it's me. So yeah, but that's what I did. Just went over there and, uh, took a picture of it and took a couple study uh, sketches and then I uh, recreated the, the garden from my grandfather. Cause I used to work in my grandfather's garden. I was like, this is what, this is what he would have in it. So. I mean, you even had him in the hat. Yeah. He used to, he yeah. used to wear a hat just like that. Well, and I grew up next door to him, so I know. When he, you know, uh, he was out. There's, there's some away. pictures. Uh, we went through the archives of King Sports archives and, and some of the other pictures. And I think I've, uh, I remember finding a, finding him like sitting there with, with a couple of tools. I was like, yeah, that, that, that'll work. So that, uh, that took that, but 90% of all the things that were done on the mural were drawn by the students and they were, uh, they researched it. They, they came up with it. Uh, the color schemes are, are for that too. So it is, uh, it, the best part about being the teacher is I get to sit back and watch them, watch them do it. So watch them create, Yeah, watch them create it. It's, it's amazing. So yeah, the, the likenesses are so vivid. We wanted to go. We wanted to go with uh, segmented. So that's called uh, organic segmentation. So uh, where you don't try to fade in the uh, the colors. But the reason we wanted to do that was because just like these portraits down here, using that kind of vivid color makes things much more important. And the and the color actually symbolizes the variety and just the the diversity of what that was. Because just like at Lanier. There's a lot of pride in Douglas. Like it's one of the, it, you know, in some places people try to hide their history and here we're proud of it. You know, you're, you're very proud of it. And just like at uh, um, Lanier in, in Mississippi, like it's funny cause uh, one of my students is in the NFL there and uh, he always, when he gets up, he goes, he does an 833, which is 833 Maple Street uh, at Lanier. So like, you know, it's, it, you, you have to be proud of where you come from. So that's what I loved about that, and that's the reason we did those vivid colors. Like Dobbin, uh, he's in he's in contrast colors because he was such an organized guy, but he had such a passion for the students. And then Miss Cora Cox, she's all these other colors that complement each other because of what she did with all the the special needs kids, kids. and all the kids that needed a, a special person. But yeah. she was she's amazing. That, yeah. she's amazing. Yeah. Lady. Yeah.